Hello YouTube, this is Engineer Pat coming to you live from my neighborhood. As you can see, the two excavators that I covered last time have now moved up to my part of the neighborhood. We have the cat excavator and this Hitachi. So I think this one is a Hitachi. Of course, the name is not on the boom like it, like it is. But this is the two excavators that you saw. And as we come on down here, I'll show you how far they have come up with this project. Of course, there's the bucket full of stone that they're laying down after they dig it up. Let this car pass real quick. As you can see here, they have laid down four steel plates. Let me get in my front yard a second. You can see where they have torn up the asphalt and they have laid plates down so the cars can pass over over where the line is going without damaging it. And that's the reason why they put these plates down to, to not only protect the pipes but also keep it level so when cars pass they will be able to pass over it. As you can see that's where they've marked uh, where all the lines are. They have found like, let me see what this flag is here. Yellow means gas, I think. Orange I think is a communication line. Let's take a look. Yep, communications line. Yellow is gas, orange is communication line. Green means sewer. Um, blue means obviously water. I don't know what the red means. If anybody knows what the red flags are, let me know. I think it's some sort of line. That might be the telephone line. I'm not really sure, but these are one of the plates. 100% steel. As you can see, they've got cones here to let motorists know where these plates are. They use plates like this all the time on different projects and this is what they're laying down for all the pipe that they've laid down. As you can see this is just gravel that they've laid down. They've been able to go back with a bulldozer and smooth it out. And then here is where they've been keeping the stone. And of course that's a stop and slow sign to direct the traffic. Thought I would show you all that real quick. Steel tracks on these excavators. See this one has the push blade on it like I discussed last time. It acts like a little bulldozer because they've got a little push blade where they can push some of the stone around and also excavate, you know, dig dirt out of the uh, ground and stuff. See, there's the bucket, that's the inside. Here are the, here's the teeth that break the ground up where my shoe is. And that's what breaks up the ground, that's what gets it down into to the farm soil. And this was made by Caterpillar. Made this year. It was made this year, so it's less than a year old. And it looks really, really pretty. Just read the builder's plate on the piece of machinery. See, here's another excavator with just a slightly bigger bucket. And as you can see, the teeth are hinged, as you can see. And of course, that's the, the bucket, of course. Wait a minute. This is a John Deere. Let me take a look. It's a John Deere. The John Deere excavator that was painted orange for this local company. Let you look at it again real close. See he's got uh, mirrors to look behind him and also uh, to also let him look around at his surroundings. And as probably most of you probably know that they go by federal standards for these pieces of equipment. They have to meet certain specs, they have to meet certain alarm specs. I mean they have to do all of this for safety reasons because safety is becoming a, a, a larger concern nowadays with all these injuries that are happening. Across the street here. And here's both of them side by side. 
just give you a pan view. But anyway, I thought I would bring y'all some coverage while they were not working today to show you guys the, ex the uh, excavators and what they've been doing up here. So, I mean, I'm literally across the street from my own house and I'm getting to see some of this. But uh, as you can also see where they have um, taken the, uh, the saw and they've cut up the pavement as well. Let me show you guys the spot real quick. I can find one. Right over here. See, this is where they have cut up the asphalt here. And this is where the line is going to go. It's going to walk here. It's going to go at an angle. Maybe about a 35 or 40 degree angle. And have a little um, elbow piece there that's made at about a... 30 or 45 degree angle and go around to the other side of the street so we'll be seeing a lot more construction here within the next um, within the next few weeks because this is the project is supposed to end this this coming year 18 so it started last year and it is continuing to, to uh, is continuing progress so this is phase number two of the project because I've covered a lot of phase one and part of phase two this is the second portion of phase two that they're doing but anyway, I just thought I would do some coverage of this. I hope all of you are enjoying the coverage of it. Um, so anyway, that concludes this video, y'all. If y'all have any questions about the project that's about it itself or just anything in general about the construction side, I may be able to answer some questions for you. And obviously, if you have any questions about the trains, let me know because I'm always open. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm Engineer Pat, and I'll see you next time.